Radical. 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 Welcome to Show Off Saturdays. And this might be one of the quickest Show Off Saturdays I have ever done. Been a really busy week. I've had a lot of uploads this week. So I'm pressed for time. But what I want to do is show you a great, great tip. And this is going to help a lot of you that maybe you go out, you get game lots, maybe you get a good deal, but you find that your Xbox 360 games are really heavily scratched. And you don't have a machine that can smooth out the scratches like a JFG, whatever it's called, the JFG Easy Pro. Now, I can sometimes, I get a polisher and I buff out scratches in some of my disc and they can play, but uh, this stack of disc right there, man, that was stuff that I couldn't get buffed out to work in my 360. But I thought, let's see if they work in the Xbox One. Because Xbox One, when it's hooked up to the internet, basically what it does is you put a 360 game in, and if it's under the program are the list of games that that are backward compatible, you could actually play these games. Now, you might be wondering, how is that possible? If these games are too scratched up to work on my Xbox 360, why the hell would they work on my Xbox One? Well, what I think is, it just needs to read enough off the game to verify that it's actually the game. So it could technically be covered and littered in scratches, but as long as some of that data is actually going to sync up and it sees that it's, I don't think that one is, but Army Men, not Army Men, but uh, Army of Two, Devil's Cartel, or Call of Duty, or GTA 4, as long as it sees that it's that game, it's going to download the update, and the update meaning the, the actual game. Now, I forget which game this was. I think it might have been Black Ops Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2. A very sought-after Xbox 360 game now because of the backward compatibility. A lot of people that buy Black Ops 2 from me at the flea market, they're doing this right now. They're, they're downloading it on their Xbox One. And you see, it completes in about an hour and a half. It's usually a little less than that, just depending on, depending on your connection speed. I got a lot of stuff in the background taking my connection now, so that's why it's taking an hour and a half. Well, see, what I tell you is probably going to go down. Now, you might be thinking, okay, Rick, you're pulling our leg. These are perfectly fine discs. I, I, guarantee you, I, I guarantee you, if I had a 360 over there, if I had a 360 and I put this in, it would not be playing it because it's too scratched. You see what I've installed earlier. I installed Battlefield 3, Gears of War. Gears of War looked like it had been through a war. It was bad. Call of Duty 4. Didn't have a lot of scratches, but the ones that were on it were pretty deep. And GTA 4. I'll show you. A little bit of GTA 4. Okay, well, yeah, it's... <laughs> I'd have to put in another disc, but I guarantee you it works. See, that there's proof it works right there, because you see Nico on the background. Yeah, so just a quick tip for a lot of you that are thinking about throwing away your Scratch 360 disc. Do not do that. In fact, run to your trash can, do some, do some trash can diving right now, and get those scratched up 360 games out of the trash can. Also, when you're going to places like the flea market to get these scratched up games, guess what? You can get a good deal on them because you can tell the person, hey, they're all scratched up. They won't work in my 360. And it's not a lie, but they damn sure will work on your Xbox One. Take care, guys.